So, for anyone that's watching this back as a video, I paid £275.45 for this Xbox Series X. There is a reason for that. So, I bought this on eBay, and the only reason I paid so much is because, one, I want to make videos, and two, is because it did come with an Elite Series 2 controller. So... Yeah, I got an Elite Series 2 controller with it, and it is all boxed and everything, so I paid... I mean, if you count the cost of the controller, I would say, you know, look, like £200 for this. I have bought another one off eBay. Um, this one here for 170 Oh, where are you gone? £171.15, but that's not this one. This one that I've bought is... £260. Comes, elite, comes with an Elite Series 2 controller. Um, the Elite Series 2 controller is all boxed. Comes with all the accessories. This is all boxed. Uh, doesn't come with the original controller because it had the Elite Series 2 with it. But basically, Xbox Series X1 terrible bike for spares and repairs. Fairly sure it's a PSU issue as it stopped working during a power surge. Should be fixable for those in the know. Xbox comes in the original box with the power cable and HDMI lead. However, there is no series controller. Elite Series 2 controller in working condition, but it does suffer from stick drift and the LB button is a bit stiff to get working sometimes. Comes in the original box with the original controller case, original accessories and charging unit and cable. Blah, blah, blah. So I did pay a little bit more than I wanted to for this, but it was originally up for 300 and something. And I ended up paying, whoops, I ended up paying uh, 260 so I sent him a best offer and they accepted, so, yeah. So, yeah, this this is a beep on beep off. I will sell it if I fix it, but it depends what it costs me to actually repair because it might come to a point where it's not worth selling and more, worth more for me to keep. It depends. So, yeah, it's a beep on beep off. Um, I don't know if the seller's being honest i really don't know if the seller's being honest here because this looks to me like an ssd fault either that or they just think it was a power surge because it just suddenly died i don't know but it beeps and then turns off i'm not going to repeat that one flax unfortunately but thank you for the dono mate what's my favorite food i haven't really got a favorite mate but if i had to choose probably leaf and onions I'm not going to repeat that one though. Thank you, mate. I appreciate the don't know. Well, I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I can't. I cannot repeat it. I'm just going to get this sticker off as best I can. Yeet. All right. Okay, okay. So this is in fairly good condition, to be fair. You know, I'm not going to complain about the condition at all. Looks in fairly decent condition. So I'm not going to do the controller on stream because I need to order some replacement analogs. So what I'll do is I'll make a video on that controller when I repair it. And then I'll probably sell that separately. There we go. A lot of empty space in that console, like my head. <laughs> my head's got a lot of a lot of empty space in it as well. Damn, that's tight. And that's what she said. What the hell? How is that chewing the screwdriver? Oh, that's actually chewing my screwdriver. How? That works. All right. Here we go. So, seller said they're pretty sure it's a power supply. We'll see. We will see. Cross box. I like that one. I like that one. Let's call them cross box from now on. It's official. I hate how you have to take all of these screws out just to be able to test the power supply. That 
it's one of the annoying things. Now you have to take all of these out just to test the power supply. But I don't think this is a power supply, to be honest with you. It doesn't feel like a power supply issue to me based on the symptoms. I mean, it could still be. It could very well be. It could be that a capacitor blown or something inside the PSU, but it's very doubtful. Based on the symptoms, I would say it's a board level issue or an SSD issue. I mean, if it's SSD, it's not necessarily the end of the world. It could be that a capacitor can't quite hold a charge because it's been damaged. So, yeah. I'm going to find a replacement power supply, if I can. So bear with me, because I've just... Well, I was hunting for donor boards earlier, and I piled them all on top of all of my parts boxes. Okay, there we go. There's a replacement power supply. So I am going to check a power supply, just to make sure. But again, it's... Not incredibly likely. It's possible, but it's not very likely that it could that it's gonna be the PSU. It's not the power supply. As I expected. So the next step is going to be to test the SSD. Ugh. Hate that viscous paste. God. Butterfingers tonight. If this is the SSD, what's faulty? I'm going to be rather gutted. Because that's going to be an expensive repair. And it's going to almost guarantee that I technically lose money. I mean, I wouldn't technically lose money because I do have replacement SSDs which have come from other consoles. But it's kind of beside the point. Hmm. It could be the SSD. Could be that the SSD is corrupted, even though it's reading as good. Yeah, my partitions are there, look. So, it is reading, it is, but it does, it, what, what's weird here is that it is kind of struggling to read, so I'm wondering if it could actually be the SSD. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, so I can't guarantee that it is actually the SSD. And to be honest, I'm not convinced that it actually is. However, it is acting a little bit odd in the sense that it's uh, struggling to read, sort it's sort of struggling to read. It did momentarily crash. Right, so there's my original SSD there. So donor drive what I mean there drive I'm working on what I mean there turn that off turn it back on again oh no one well, no, I should have turned it off before I put them in it's fine it's not a sharp picture should be it's exactly the same setup as usual mate Try checking your resolution, mate, because YouTube seems to be changing people's resolutions. I really need a new... I really need a new switch for this. A new tactile switch. Oh, I actually think this needs to be plugged into USB to work. To actually, um... Start a clone. Right, that has just started cloning. And now I can unplug it from the USB. So yeah, you have to have this plugged into USB as well to start a clone for some reason. Yeah, I'm going to let this run for a bit. I don't need the entire partition. Like, I don't need the entire data. I don't need all of it. All I need is for it to clone the partitions. So as it's got the um, correct information it needs to boot into safe mode, that's all I care about. Don't forget to like if you enjoy the streams. I would appreciate it. All right, I'm going to... 
well, I don't know if these will cancel it, but probably not. So I'm just going to manually cancel it. What is it? This is a cloning machine thingy. <laughs> It's a M.2 cloner. Well, it's, it's an external M.2 reader, but it's also a cloner. Plug this one back in, make sure I've still got my partitions. Yeah, but the 1S is also ideal for emulation, mate. No. Still beep on beep off. So it might actually be a board issue then. Try recovering my... I've tried it, mate. I've tried it. Plus, this is this was a replacement SSD. Um, if if it was the SSD, then it's just cloned this SSD, or it's just cloned what it needed. Right, let's just see what's on this now. Anyway, you are absolutely right. I did put the right, the wrong SSD in. I put the one from A in. Phil is having one of them days, mate. It's been a pretty annoying day to be honest. Too busy thinking about Travis's mom. Indeed. Travis's mom, she's got it going on. She's all I want, and I've waited for so long. Travis, can't you see that I'll be your new daddy? I know it might be wrong, but I'm in love with Travis's mom. Keep my mum's name out your fucking mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Huh. It stayed on. It stayed on. Is it also one time? Are we going to give a display? Ha! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Try reinstalling now, yep. Indeed. I need to put it back together though first. Didn't work last time. Uh you are right, it didn't. However, this time we have all of the partitions. And I have successfully done this once before. Yeah, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna hook up a USB and I'm gonna copy O2 one over to a, a USB. So I want to download a brand new O2 one. Can you reformat the old SSD and try a game. Possibly. What did that cloner cost, Phil, for you to reference? This was close to £100, mate. Something along those lines. I'll find a link out. Uh, actually, I'll find a link now. There you go. 99 99 Turn a little bit. SSD brought the whole console. Yep. And now this is going to make a video and everyone's going to be aware of it. Right, I'll see one's downloaded, so I'm going to get that copied over. All right, so now that's copying. So while I'm just screwing these back together, I'm just copying the files I need. I haven't actually changed the thermal paste on this. I just want to put it back together enough just so as I can sort it all out. I can service it off camera. Actually, I want to do a video on how to service the Xbox Series X. So I can put it all back together and assuming it all works. Like That's making an assumption, but... Assuming it all works, then I will make a separate video on how to service it. <laughs> Leave Travis's mom out of this. <laughs> Everyone's on Travis mom, Travis's mom. And funnily enough, that's not the first time I've had to say that. <laughs> uh, Travis's mom, she's got it going on. She's all I want, have waited for so long. Travis, can't you see? I'm gonna be your new daddy. I know it might be wrong, but I'm in love with Travis's mom. <laughs> What's wrong with this? Failed SSD, mate. As always. Of course, there's nothing new there. So a dot on the base circle, line it up with the corner of the box. Yeah, oh no, mate, it just never seems to want to line up and then it twists and turns itself. Looks almost like a pro job. I'll take that as a compliment for you, from you, mate. 
All right, I'm going to plug in my USB and install OC1. Boom, there we go. All right, let's let that run. By the way, if you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to give it a like, ladies and gentlemen. I would really appreciate it. And also, if you want that SSD cloner that I've just used to get this to boot, there's a link in chat. And by the way, those links, if you buy anything at all off Amazon using that link, I will get a kickback. It does help me out. And I would really appreciate it. Right, that's just rebooted. Please, please get through this stage. Just go 1% further than what it is right now when it reboots. Just 1%. Boom. Eat shit and get fucked, Microsoft. I win, you lose, fuck you. It ain't a win until it plays Forza. Hell no, this is a win. This is a win. You should test it. You should speed test the other SSD. I could do. And um, boom. That's a win. Did Microsoft say they could, couldn't fix it? No, Microsoft locked the SSD to the system. And I've just changed it. I've just replaced the SSD. And I win. Now let's just hope it's not banned. Let's just check the interwebs. All right, that works. Go to the store. I will when I sign in. Game Pass is a scam. It proper triggers people when I say that. <laughs> Swap you for the missus. Done. You can even have mine. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, no ban. Right, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, this was live streamed. If you're watching this back as a video, this was live streamed. Um, it turns out that... I mean, this is reading fine. Right? That's reading fine in the computer. So I'm assuming that is going to be okay. But I'm going to do a seven pass over right on it and test it. That's going to take way too long to do in a video, so I'll do it overnight. Uh, but I'll do a seven pass over right on that. I'll wipe it completely. Uh, seven pass over right means that it'll basically write seven terabytes of zeros and ones. It'll just write the same data over and over seven times and completely blank the drive. So I'll make sure that it actually takes the data and then it's actually able to write to it. And then, worst case scenario, I'll be able to use this as a uh, drive in my PC. Best case scenario, I'll be able to use it in another console. So technically, then, if that's the case, I wouldn't I wouldn't have lost anything. These, I think, cost around about £160 to buy. So it's a pretty expensive repair if, if I couldn't get this working. But should at least be able to use it in a computer as a Gen 4 SSD, which is fine by me. So... Yeah, but it turns out that was probably just corrupt. So cloning it over using this magical little box. And it works. So, yeah, I'll leave a link to this in the video description when I do post this as a video to this uh, little cloner. Honestly, this is a godsend. This is the second time this has saved my ass on an Xbox Series X now. Um, yeah, happy days. Happy, happy days. So, yeah, if you're watching this back as a video, don't forget to like if you did enjoy it and give the video, uh, or rather give the channel fo channel a follow. And also you can support me by heading over to Twitch and linking an Amazon Prime account to Twitch and then becoming a Prime subscriber. Links are on in the description as well as the links to the SSD cloner. So, yeah, thank you for watching. See you later.